What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Venom. Let's start today's lesson by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. Let's start from the very top. It's gonna pull our pencil towards us with this light line. Now let's go up towards the top and draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side, going across, and extend that out towards the right. Now we're gonna use these guidelines to help us create a circle. From the center, let's go all the way up towards the top. It's gonna to mark off the top of our circle. Let's take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Now we're also gonna add two marks across this center line. So let's take that same distance over towards the left. Just gonna mark that off, and then take that distance over towards the right. Now we're gonna connect each of these marks with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left. It's gonna work our way around. Now this circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna get the right size. Working our way down towards the bottom. Go across towards the right, and then back down. Now we can go back and just readjust the shape of our circle. Let's go to the left side of our circle and sketch a line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now from the left side of our circle, we're gonna step up and draw a straight angle line coming across towards the bottom right. So go across the center and then come down. Now from the center of our circle, let's move over towards the left, sketch a line coming all the way down towards the bottom of that circle. And we'll angle the mouth coming down and across towards the right. To right about there, draw a short line coming down towards the chin. Now let's curve at the bottom of the head going up and across towards the left, towards that line. Now from here we're just going to block out the shape of the teeth. Let's start from the right, curve the teeth coming down just along the bottom of that circle. Angle this up towards that center line curve this up and then back in. Let's go down towards the bottom, curve this out and up, angle this up and in towards that center line, curve this down and then in. Now we're going to have the tongue coming out from the center of the mouth. Let's start from the left side, curve the tongue going up, and just bend that down on the outside, round up the tongue, pulling that back up, and then bending that back down. Now the tongue is going to get thicker as we come back in towards the mouth. So we'll start from the tip, just working our way around, and then in behind the teeth. Let's add the bottom of the neck, starting underneath the jaw, curve this out, and then down towards the left. Now we're going to go back up to the top of this line, draw a straight line going across the back, Step back, curve the shoulders, going up and over. Now from here, we're just gonna add some shape to the eye. Let's start from the bottom right. Just gonna curve the eye going up. Just following the curve of that circle, going all the way up towards the top and across towards the left. From the outside, curve this in and then down. Bend this back in and then down toward that center line. Let's add some shape to the top of the eye. Starting up here, taper this across towards that center line. Come down and across. Come down again and over towards the right. It's gonna add a point along the outside. Now with our rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean sketch, let's go into the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. Now we're going to start with the eye. We're going to start from the very top. We're just going to refine the shape as we go. Just working our way down towards the bottom.
Let's add a shadow on the left side using the side edge of our pencil. And then we're just gonna fade that out as we go towards the right. And go back and add a darker shadow on the left side, leaving a little bit of a highlight along the bottom edge. And then darken up the right side of that line. And then again, just blending that out. Now I'm just going to work away from the back of the head, going over towards the right. Again, just adding a little bit more shape as we go. I'm also adding some folds across the back of the neck. away from the inside of the mouth and over towards the right. just using those guides to help us add in the teeth. So we're just adding a gum line along the top with a curve and just working our way down towards the bottom. And just repeating this all the way towards the left. I'm just going to make the teeth a little bit smaller as we come towards the back. I'm just going to add an even shade to that cartilage and the gum line. Go back and just darken up the top to cast a shadow and then just fade that down. Now adding a shadow on the left side of each tooth. And now just work our way across the bottom teeth.
Now let's go back and start tracing out the contour of the tongue. Now I'm just gonna add some folds as we go. and it will darken up the inside of the mouth going around the teeth and the tongue. Now let's darken up the back side of the tongue and then fade that out as it comes forward. Shade in the tongue, going out toward the tip. Now using the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to enhance those folds. And we're going to go ahead and just add an even shade to the entire head and neck area. I'm just going to darken up the shadow on the back side of the head, leaving a little bit of a highlight along the top edge. I'm just going to work this above the eye, and then fade that out as we go towards the right. I'm just going to add some wrinkles across the bottom of the jaw.
And we're gonna go back and enhance our shadows. Going around the cheekbones. Now as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Venom. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.